Jeez. Yeah, you're Talk right. Talk about a Dr. Seuss-like <laughs> landscape. Wow. Look at this. This is amazing. That if, is we could, if we could just hold the scene for a moment. Wow. This is a tech of the sponges here. You wanted sponges, Chris. Yeah, I got them. Yeah, that's, well, okay, I got them. <laughs> wow. So the, 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 the great thing about this that I love is the way they're all oriented directly into the current. <laughs> this one looks like a Muppet. <laughs> this is why sometimes I think these sponges, um, when you come up against something like this, you think you're on a different planet. Just so strange. Wow, it goes on and on too. Every time we, we do these dives, all I can think about is, you know, this is the type of experience someone would have if they found like life on another planet. Oh, you, want to see? you know, everything's so alien to, at least for me, even though I've been doing it for five years, it's still like I'm on another planet when we're down here. Yeah, and it's definitely the same for me as well, Pilot, because even though I work on these sponges, a scene like this is just extraordinary. And I'll toss my hat in the ring, too, as a person who studies echinoderms, which are even more bizarre. These things just stun me. Like a forest of the weird. 